Hey, Gemini, it's Tuesday. We're going to do your reading. How are you guys? So let me just go over my spiel real quick. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's general, of course. Cannot, will not resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. So this is about a painful ending. We've got, this is just pre-shuffle. We're going to lay out a spread, but let me just show you what I'm picking up on so far. A painful ending, and this um, Empress is about creation, re uh, something new birthing, but I feel like this is majorly about self-love. And maybe, sometimes the pre-shuffle doesn't really have to do much with the spread, so we'll see, but... I feel like this is a strong message for someone. Seven of Pentacles, um, Four of Swords, and Seven of Swords. I feel like there is a need to say that, you know, to love yourself even when things are difficult or when there's been pain. Uh, those are the times we, sometimes those are the times when, you know, maybe we mess up or I'm sorry, this is so dark. I don't think, I think you're going to get a really great reading just from all this too, but Sometimes, you know, the days that we're, hard, we're hardest on ourselves because we're just not making much progress or we're not feeling that productive or successful, those are the days we really need to love and nurture ourselves the most, okay? Um, because that love and nurturing, self-nurturing is, I think it's powerful and, and helpful to, for us to keep going. Like that's the whole thing. We just not gonna need to keep going. If we need to take a little time out with the four swords, we can. But don't kid, don't pretend. There's also something about not pretending to be okay when you're not. Embrace the not being okay so that you can dust it off, right? So it says life is tough, but so are you. Um, paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance release your worries. So here it is again. So um, just know that there's, you know, you're going to have moments of, of back, being set back or whatever, but this is success. Um, I think there's a, a just a strong vibe of pretending you're okay when you're not and that suppressing might be count, working against you instead of helping you, you know, like you don't have to be totally perfectly tough or something like that, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. How are you? Hope you guys are well. This is a love reading for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please say hi in the comments. Let me know um, where you're watching from. Any intentions that you want to set or affirmations that can circulate throughout, you know, all over the world with the video. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I just dropped this card three times. Three of Cups. So... Three of Cups is union. It's friendship. Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe it's a good time to start some new friendships. I hope you guys aren't isolating. That's overall energy. Look at that. Six of Wands. Support. Success. Recognition. Three of Wands. Progress, big time progress, judgment, do you see that? This card is, she's, she's ascending. So, ah, uh, Gemini, you may be in a difficult little spout, but this is, it's, it's definitely not, it's definitely purposeful. There's definitely a plan. There's definitely growth. There's definitely success, but there might be a need not to suppress disappointments. Oh my gosh, the person that you're thinking about, Ten of Cups, a lot of love. Oh my gosh, and the lovers. So yeah, you have a return. This person looks like they, I wonder if they chose someone else and you're now being seen for who you are or being seen for your value. I feel the need to shuffle. There's Eight of Swords. <coughs> Let me shuffle. Wow. I knew that you were going to get a good reading. I felt it. Um, got excited about doing it. But then these cards were like, oh, we got a message here, you know. So in the recent past, we had the Strength card. Could be a Leo. We have an Ace of Cups. So this Strength card is about, very much about 
balancing the lion and the lamb, taming that. It's, a, it's again, it's about balance. It's about, okay, I'm not perfect and that's okay. I don't have to hide it or pretend that I'm okay when I'm not. I can love myself through my difficult times and not require someone else's approval, something like that. It's weird because it just had a collective reading kind of like that. But in the recent past, we have the Strength card and the Ace of Cups. Some of you might be avoiding love. Huh? Just, <laughs> just when I said it, hangman. Hmm. Okay, let's go to outcome. Powerful reading. Look at all that major arcana. One, two. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. Four of them. Somebody might be a little bit um, afraid to. Somebody's. It seems like somebody's afraid of being valued, valuable, vulnerable. Outcome. Uh, King of Pentacles. Someone stable and strong, successful. Do you feel a lot of money? And we're going to clarify this center row too. So focused attention, bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck, we have nine of swords and I mean, yeah, nine of swords and three of swords. Okay. Um, so you or your person, somebody's really focused on work but it's gonna pay, it looks like it's working. But we've got the Nine of Swords and Three of Swords. Somebody's really upset about their the pain or maybe that they caused. Um, tell me about this Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. This could be also indicating a need to be vulnerable with you know friends and have a support group. Yeah, not to, I think it's about not pretending, wow. It's okay to have your downs. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that, um, it's just normal, actually. You know, we try to pretend that everything's always on the up and up, but there's, that's just not possible. There's uh, maybe an overdoing of the cups half full. It, there's either an over ne negative thinking or an over positive thinking to where it's a little bit of an illusion is what I'm thinking. Um, there's a balance between, there needs to be a balance between, you know, being successful and vulnerable. And there's an ego issue here, surrender. Tell me more about this center row. The tower. It's something to do with value. So what's going on with this person that Gemini's thinking about? And like, I think they're figuring things out. That we've got the Ten of Cups. There is a lot of love and there's also a decision in love. There's forward motion. What's, tell me more. What's the lovers? Yeah, they're going to come forward. You're probably going to get an apology. Somebody's being enlightened. We've got the sun card again. The sun card, growth, healing, hope. So you might be mirroring each other. You both need to heal. Uh, let's get one on the nine of swords and three of swords. There's some, you know, feeling stuck in the sadness or <sighs> afraid to move forward. Also, that could be a missed opportunity. Well, you've got to return. I think the message is just pretty strong about um, 
There's hope, healing. Here's two of swords. So you could have been blocked. Somebody's being enlightened. And there's a strong energy of something leaving something. I think it's someone leaving something or another situation. Let me see um, if we can get, let's get a, a pers like a personal growth card. You definitely, you have a return. You have money coming or hard work paying off. It looks like your person is going to be, somebody you're thinking about is going to be uh, very enlightened. They may be going through their own healing and maybe the message is, for, I, yeah. I think the message is for you to take this time to, you know, uh, work on your own healing and not be afraid of, it's like you don't have to cover your feelings or twist, um, how you really feel or act like it's okay just because you don't want to be the you know that whole like pretending that we're not hurt like oh yeah okay well whatever what you want is fine something like that being cheerful when somebody if somebody hurts you or wrongs you or you're disappointed there's a need to embrace it okay because it's not it's blocking um, the natural flow of emotions by not this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson wow so I think you're mirroring each other I wanted to show you guys what showed up on my desk from the charms it's a mirror so one more for Gemini please no no You already know the answer you seek. I said one more and I'm not want protected. You are safe and divinely guided. Okay. Let's get an angel. wisdom of the oracle. I'm going to ignore it, it see if we get any more advice. I might be just overdoing it. I mean, we have a pretty clear reading that good things are coming. There's a yin. Good things are coming. Hard work is paying off. Somebody's going to come forward, it looks like, with an apology. Time to go. Milk and honey. To be fair. Time to go. Milk and honey. This is all about home and self-soothing, I believe, nurturing. To be fair. That's interesting because that looks like a wedding cake. And here's to the sea. Uh, there could be an over a tendency to overwork here and a need to, you know, credit yourself and reward yourself. Just, there's a, I mean, you, you have the return. Let's just re recap. You have a return. There's a whole lot of love. Looks like somebody is figuring things out, realizing your value. But there's a lesson here about not having to prove yourself and to be true to yourself by not discarding your feelings and pretending you're okay. It's okay to be somewhat vulnerable. Be here now. Let's read it. Be here now. Hummingbird 104. The hummingbird's wings beat so swiftly it can hover in seamless stillness as it drinks deeply from a flower. Hummingbird spirit comes to remind you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now. The timeless present. Here and now you're becoming the person you wish to have. You, wait, the person you wish to be. Becoming the person you wish to be to have the experiences you wish to have. 
Focus your energy on the flower before you. For what you desire is being provided. Yes, there are blossoms everywhere. The choices can be dazzling. Hummingbird spirit message is that you have no need to go about in search of something better. For all that you require and desire is before you. You will know this as you become still, feeling your connection to spirit who loves you unconditionally and will always provide for you. Nectar is everywhere. Hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower will be all over the place, wasting precious, precious energy. So be still, be here, be now in the present, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Okay, so there's an energy of being scattered and maybe t needing to take the time to embrace you know, whatever emotions, emotions you're feeling at that time or situations you're going through at that time instead of just pressing past them to move forward. This is about being pre more present. Are you focused on the sweetness or finding something better somewhere else? Always yearning and feeling that life is not enough and you are not enough. Well, that's going to sum it up. So all you seek is right here. Appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this time and perfect moment. So there, there looks like there's a need to just take a breather, not be so reluctant to share your feelings with the right person in a safe space. Because I feel like if you don't have a strong support that you can share, you know, be totally vulnerable with, then you kind of might spurt out stuff in different areas and it's not, um, it, it's it, rather than in one safe, one just a few safe spaces. Does that make sense? But anyway, you do have somebody coming back, somebody seeing your value. This is more about you seeing your value and not feeling like you have to hide it and, um, and um, suppress your true emotions because it's those things will come back the the, the we've the neuro, neuroscientists that i follow they're they've they're proving that cells have memory so suppressed feelings and emotions get stored in our cells and then they i mean they don't you you, you got to feel it to heal it and you know release it um i've learned that the hard way but you seeing your value and you embracing your journey and your ups and your downs, it's like a, a need to be authentic in your ups and your downs and not just the ups, you know? And this person might be mirroring you in some way. You, they might be going through the same thing too. They're going through some serious growth also with the sun and the nine of wands. And they're, but they're gonna choose love. So you guys have a beautiful me message here, yay. I love it. Okay, I love you guys. Gemini, let me know in the comments how it resonated, if it was helpful and how. And um, I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye, Gemini.